Hello, English 1101 scholars. Welcome to the third week of the summer 2017 version of the online English 1101 class for my, my class. So, just a couple of quick reminders. This video won't take very long, but uh, remember that last night was the due date for the first draft of the narrative essay. And I went in and I've already looked and I'm pleased to see that most of you have already turned it in. So great job for those of you that have. If you haven't, you need to get on it because I want to get your comments into you within the next 24 to 48 hours. So those of you that have already turned them in, uh, look for my comments very soon. In fact, that is my big project for today is to go through all these first drafts and let you know what it is um, that's working well and what needs improvement on. Remember that the uh, revision is actually uh, a very important step. The first important step is to get a first draft in because now you got something on paper. But the revision is also very important. And that's what this week's lessons are about. Our revision and then about the how the ways to uh, begin uh, and end an essay and then of course the middle. So take that week three quiz. Um, if you've already taken your week two quiz, you should already know what your grades on those are. If not, let me know and I'll go ahead and see what's going on with that. But uh, you should have your week two quiz grades. You should, within the next 24 to 48 hours, have your first draft comments on the narrative. And then uh, go ahead and do the rest of this week's work. Remember, the final draft of the narrative is due on Sunday night. And the reason for that is because we're going to start the descriptive next Monday. So it's extremely important that you get that uh that final draft done once you see my comments. Uh, I'm going to try not to create too much work for you, but if you have a really bad first draft, you might have a lot of work. But if you have a pretty decent first draft, not so much. Um, remember that I'm also very strict on grammar, so I'll probably point out a grammar error here and there and say, now look for this through the rest of your uh, essay. I won't point out every single missing comma. I won't point out every single agreement error, but uh, I will point out at least one or two instances of them and say, hey, this is a problem. You need to work on this. So that's it for this week. I hope that you have a wonderful week and that uh, as you go through these uh, revision and editing lessons and then, of course, go through the uh, beginnings, middles, and ends lesson, that it will be very beneficial to you and will help you very much uh, become a much better writer. At least that's the whole goal of this class, right? So um, on that note, have a great week.